Back here at home, some people are on heightened alert uh, about what's going on in the Middle East uh, and what could happen there and what could happen here as well. Our Matt Gregory live at the Capitol where we can already see an increase in security. Good morning to you, Matt. Hey, good morning, Wisdom. Yeah, we're seeing increased security this morning that started going up last night. This security fencing around the Capitol. They almost look like bike racks right here. These run the entire perimeter of the Capitol. This is all happening, though, after a former Hamas leader called for a day of protest, a day of rage, a day of jihad in response to Israel's attacks and constant airstrikes on the Gaza Strip, which, of course, is in retaliation for the terrorist attacks that took place in Gaza and southern Israel on Saturday. So this is what we're seeing here is you know, while there are no credible uh, threats that we've heard of at all, that's what all of our law enforcement tells us, you can see the increased fencing right here. And of course, uh, MPD, as well as all the other law enforcement agencies here in the district are on heightened security. But again, no credible threats. It's just the chatter they're seeing on social media has caused for alert. Now, at the same time, today there will be a stand for with Israel, a rally for Israel happening at Freedom Plaza. And the Jewish Community Relations Council and the Greater Washington Jewish Community have planned the rally to show their support for Israel and for the worldwide Jewish community and those across the United States. Now, we expect Mayor Muriel Bowser to be there, as well as Maryland Governor Wes Moore to attend. It's a rally meant to show support, but given the social media circulations threatening unrest, across the world. A spokesperson we talked to from the Anti-Defamation League says today is also a reminder to remain vigilant. The reality is, is um, this is a moment that we're in and I really want to encourage people of good conscience, you know, to stand with Israel, stand with the civilians. We need to really be standing up to terrorism. This is hate. This is pure evil. So that will be at 1215 today at Freedom Plaza, just across the other section of downtown. Uh, again, like I said, just afternoon, a rally for Israel. In the meantime, at the Capitol, at Capitol Hill, rather, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. All right, Matt Gregory reporting. Uh, we will stay on top of this big story. For updates at any time, visit our website, WSA9.com, or download the free WSA9 mobile app.